science. In this video, I'd like to talk about uh, what is the difference between simplifying a linear expression and evaluating a linear, ex linear expression. And just to refresh your memory, a linear expression is an algebraic expression in which every variable is raised to the first power. For example, um, you may be asked to simplify the following. And basically this means is you get it kind of like a fraction down to its uh, simplest terms. So you can combine like terms and then follow the rules for sign numbers, which are when adding, if the signs are the same, add the numbers, then take the sign of what you're adding. And if they're different, take the difference and take the sign of the larger number. And when you subtract, you add its opposite. So now let's uh, go ahead and simplify two examples. Okay, so we have the original problem and we have 3x minus 2 plus 7x plus 8. I'm going to rewrite it and put similar terms or like terms next to each other. Okay, so now I have 3x plus 7x minus 2 plus 8. So I will add these. I will combine the like terms. And 7 and 3 looks like 10x. And then this is a sign numbers. They're different. So I will take the difference between 8 and and 2, and that is 6. And is it positive or negative? That would be positive because 8 is larger than 2. Okay, so here's another example. I'm going to rewrite this and put like terms next to each other. I'm going to put a little mark uh, above it because you have lots of terms going on. Okay, and then we have the y's, negative 4y and negative 9 y. So I'm going to put a little mark above it. And then we have a positive 2 and a negative 10. And now I just combine like terms. 7x, 4x is 11x. A negative 4 and a negative y. Remember they're the same sign. So I will add and take their sign which is 13y and it will be negative. And then now the difference between 10 and 2 is 8. Will it be positive or negative? It will be negative because 10 is larger than x. So there we have, we have 11x minus 13y minus 8. Okay, that is simplifying. Now, in order to evaluate, what you do is you actually have a number to plug into the expression. And in this example, you have a 3. Okay, so to evaluate, you have to substitute a number for each variable and perform the arithmetic operations. So I'm going to do that. You can just plug the number in, but I like to simplify first. So I'm going to put like terms next to each other, like I've done before in the other examples of simplifying. Then I'm going to combine like terms. Okay, so that gives me 10x plus 6. And then I'm just going to plug 3 into it. 10 times 3 is 30 plus 6 which is equal to 36, okay? And I'm gonna work one more example, and this is one in which you have to distribute, okay? So first I need to distribute two times two. When you distribute, means you multiply what's on the outside by what's on the inside. Two times two is four x. Two times a negative four is negative eight, okay? Three times a negative two is a negative six. And 3 times 3 is a positive 9x. I'm going to combine terms next to each other, similar terms. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So we have 13x minus an 8 plus 4 is 14. And it is negative because when you... Uh, are subtracting two negatives or adding two negatives, add and take the sign of the two numbers. Okay, now I plug two into them. So 13 times two is equal to 26 minus 14. So I'm going to move this down here. 26 minus 14 is six minus four is two. And that would be 12. Is it positive or negative? it will be positive because 26 is larger than 14. So there we go, how to simplify and evaluate 
simply a New York expression. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.